Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited because I am diving into Photoshop a little bit deeper with you guys and I wanted to show you how I create this vinyl color chart. Um, these are Oracle 651 colors that I use in my business all the time and I want to show you how easy it is to make this color chart for your listings. So once you've opened Photoshop, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to File new or you can press control n it's command n on a mac i am using a windows computer today but this is pretty much the same thing um mac or windows i switch back and forth between them all the time so etsy really likes your listings to be at least 2000 pixels wide for the best optimization so i like to make mine 2000 by 1600 let's also name this so this is a preset size. I'm just going to call it Etsy listing. So I always have that saved. You're in pixels, not inches. <laughs> um, the resolution at 72 is good. RGB color is good. 16 bit white background and create. So this is my artboard that I am working on. Now I'm going to add a background because I want it to match a little bit more with my brand. Um, you can leave it white, you can make it a color, but I am going to just use a background that I have downloaded off of Etsy. Here, I have a couple of different wood backgrounds. I want it to be um, nice and light so it doesn't interfere with the colors of the actual vinyl. So I'm going to click this guy and drag and drop. So now you'll see when you put it in, there's like an X on it and you see all the transform controls. You're not going to be able to do anything until you adjust the background where you want it to. That looks good. Now I'm going to go up here to this little crosshair. It's the move tool and just click it. And then that will get rid of that X and it will place the background for me. Now, I don't want this background to move, so I am going to click on the layer over here where it says wood, and I'm going to lock it. So now it's not moving anywhere. The next thing you want to do is you want to go over to your text tool because it's white. I'm just going to go over here. You're always going to, when, when you click on the text tool, right, so let's do this again. Right, text pops up, that lorem ipsum that you always see. So it's highlighted. I'm just going to double click over here on my color palette on the black. Black, okay, because I want to be able to see it. Beautiful. So I already had my font set to apricots, and I'm just going to write vinyl color options. Okay, and now I want to make this bigger. So I'm going to drag this guy and position it where I want it. I'm going to put just a little message that says colors may vary depending on your computer screen. So it's obviously a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do, you can go here and click on the move tool and you can make it smaller. But you can also you can also go back to your text tool and click on it. I'm going to highlight the text and then you have this toolbar up here where you can also um, adjust using the down arrow, adjust the size. I definitely want to adjust the font, so I'm going to go over here. Honey bunch, I like that font. So there we go. Now I'm going to click on the move tool again. Just bring this one up. Perfect. So now we have our text. The next thing we need to do is we need to make the shapes for our color swatches. So sometimes on your toolbar, you might not see everything. Like right now, I don't see my shape tool. So all I'm going to do is click on these three dots and it brings it up because that's the one that I was missing. So you can also click U if you want to make um, a circle. So I'm going to do that. You don't have to make it a circle. You can use square, rectangle, whatever you want to do. So notice that when I'm drawing my ellipse, it's like all over the place. It's not a perfect circle. All you have to do to make it a perfect circle is hold down on the shift key 
and then you can drag it. So don't worry that it's black right now. We're going to fix that. So what I'm going to do now that I have it selected, you want to click on your move tool, make sure it's selected and you see the transform controls. And I'm going to copy and paste. So to copy and paste on my Windows computer, I am pressing control C. To copy and paste on a Mac, I am pressing command C. So command C. And to paste, I'm going to press control V. So that brings it together. Now I'm going to show you how to make this all look perfectly aligned. So I'm going to keep pressing control V. If you make a mistake, like I accidentally just dragged that up, just press control Z. So now I have four across and I this obviously looks like a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rubber band select, which is when you just hold down on your mouse and drag and you'll see you're all selected. So make sure that you are selected on the move tool and you're going to see all of these lovely align and distribute options. So we want ours to be aligned across the middle. So I'm going to look for the icon that matches that. So right there. Perfect. Now there's a little bit more space between these two circles than these two circles. So I want to distribute them evenly. They're side by side. So I'm going to click right here. And now they're distributed evenly and they are perfectly centered. So while I have all of these selected, and again, if you need to do that, you just rubber band select, or you can hold down shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. I'm going to press control C to copy and then control V to paste. This is just saving me a little bit of time. Move it so it looks good. And now I have these, um, the shapes that my swatches are going to be. Now I am using Oracle 651. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome and Oracle 651 vinyl color. And you want to go to Oracle.com. Oracle are the people who manufacture Oracle and click on this link here. Should be the first one that pops up. I want to scroll down and here you will see all the lovely colors. So I want to get a pretty good view of all of them at once. So I'm just going to zoom out and I'm on a window. So I'm pressing command and the minus sign until it shows me all the colors. Okay. Now I want to take a snippet or a screenshot of this so I can bring it into Photoshop and use these colors to make my swatches. So on a Windows, I'm going to press the window key, Shift S, and I'm going to drag my cursor so I have a good snippet of the colors. Now this is automatically copied to my clipboard, so I'm going to go back into Photoshop and I'm going to press Control V. And here is my color chart. So let's make this a little bit bigger. This is what I want to take a look at all of my colors and I want to pick out 12 colors that I want to use for my vinyl swatches. I'm going to click I on my keyboard or you can come over here and click the eyedropper tool and I'm going to select, let's see, let's start with, I like, We'll do this red, this orange red, that's one, two, and notice I'm just clicking on them. You don't have to do anything, just keep the eyedropper tool open and keep click until you have 12. What to do is I need to just hide this layer. I don't want to delete it yet because I'm going to need it to reference the colors. So go to your layers palette and just click on this eye so it's no longer visible. Now, go to your move tool double click the circle. Like I said, this light, this properties um, tab should open. If it doesn't, you go to windows, window and click properties. Now you're going to see when you click on the fill shape, all of the colors that I selected are right here in my recently used colors. So I'm going to select red 
and then you'll see my swatch turned red. Now I'm going to double click on the next one. Red, orange. So these I want to leave as black and white. I'm just going to find a color white on this palette. <laughs> now you want to go to your text tool. You can also press T. And we are going to, I'm going to make this white. And you just want to click on the board. And then this is the color original red. We'll move this. I'm sorry, it's orange red. And then we're going to move this so it's centered in the circle. Now I am just going to keep copying and pasting. So I'm going to click on the text layer here, Control C, Control V. If you don't remember what the colors were called, you can just click on um, your layer here where you copied in the palette. So that was the color coral. I know some of these colors by name so because I use them so often, but um, you can reference if you have to, obviously. This is lilac. You don't have to obviously put the name on the circle. You can put it underneath. I just like the way it looks. Now the white, obviously we don't want to have white text on a white circle because you won't be able to see it. So I am going to double click, type in white. You can select it with your cursor or I just press command A, go over here. I double click on the color and then you can create any color that you want. So I'm just gonna make it black. So you can see it. And this we're gonna put black. And that's it. So I think that that's pretty, um, a pretty easy way of doing it. What I'm going to do now is I want to delete this layer that I was using for reference. So I'm just going to go to the delete can. And I want to flatten all of these into one layer. So it just saves nicely. It's all compressed into one file. You know, my computer's not reading it as all these different layers. So I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to go down here to new layer. Right click. And you, I'm going to flatten the image. So now I'm going to go to File, Save As. I save everything to my desktop. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, and we're going to call this Vinyl Color Chart. I always save it on Medium File Saving. And that's it. You're done. There's, there's really nothing else to it. You can upload this to Facebook, Etsy, Shopify, whatever you want. Um, you can add more colors. You obviously don't have to use the colors that I was using. But like I said, Photoshop is, is definitely a little bit intimidating. But I think once you just dive in and you you know, you, you try your best. Um, eventually, you kind of just get the hang of it. Please leave any request for tutorials in the comments below. I try my best to answer and make all of the tutorials that you guys need. If you need any more help, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting tips and tricks and on my blog as well. Information will be in the description below. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time.